photo by Leon Halep, Getty Image s it's going to be an interesting offseason for the Minnesota Vikings, who have a number of issues to address and only so much cap space available to make improvements. I'm sure Rick Spielman is creative enough to muster up some breathing room, but it's going to tough sledding regardless. Either way, moves need to be made after an extremely disappointing 2018 campaign. The Vikings came into last season as one of the Super Bowl favorites, yet failed to even make the playoffs. It's clear adjustments are needed. Unfortunately, due to Minnesota's cap constraints, there's only so much damage to be done during 2019 NFL free agency. At this moment, the Vikings are projected to have $5.3 million in cap space via Spatrack.com. That's not a lot of spending power. Even if they do possess some sort of contender potential, debatable, they don't really have the money needed to lure in top talent. That means they could be forced to dig through the bargain bin to fill the gaps in the roster. Seeing as that's the case, it just makes sense to take a more logical approach to the Vikings' pending free agency. That's why I've put together this little list of players I believe they'll actually sign instead of the group of pipe dreams you're likely to find elsewhere. So here they are, the three free agents I'm predicting will be wearing horns during the 2019 NFL campaign. Chances are they're off the mark, but they make sense in my head considering the Vikings' needs and salary cap limitations. Page 2 photo by Sam Greenwood, Getty Images Unfortunately, this is not the year if you're looking for top free agent offensive linemen. There are a few quality starters slated to hit the open market, but it's looking like slim pickings if you need an upgrade or two along the front five. That's the boat the Vikings are in right now. More from NFL spin zone with their cap constraints, though, it's going to be even tougher to improve Kirk Cousins' protection. That means the Vikings could be forced to dig deep to find a capable contributor with a discounted price tag. That's where A.J. Can could come into play. A former third-round pick of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Can brings plenty of starting experience and youth to the table. Although far from a proven commodity along the interior, he has shown enough during his four seasons in the NFL to garner the Vikings' attention. That is, if the Jaguars don't simply decide to re-sign him. Can is a solid all-around blocker, capable of holding his own as a pass protector and run blocker. He's had an up-and-down career up to this point, the potential still exists for him to emerge as a solid starter given his age, 27, and upside. The versatility Can possesses as a potential starter at either guard spot makes him an interesting consideration. It's not the long-term solution the Vikings desperately need, but they don't have the money to land someone like Roger Saffold. Page 3 photo by Mike Gurman, Getty Image assets starting to look like Anthony Barr will be leaving this offseason. Oh, who am I kidding? It's looked like that for some time now, as the Vikings seemingly decided at least a year ago that he wasn't a part of their long-term plans. Now, as a result of his pending, and likely, departure, a replacement is needed. While the 2019 free agent pool isn't exactly teeming with top linebacker talent, it's not like the Vikings have the money to land a big fish anyway. Instead, they'll need to settle for an underrated option who can be had for a reasonable price. Enter Quan Alexander. While far from a big name in today's NFL, Alexander has spent the last few years quietly providing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with solid play. He's an exceptional athlete with good instincts, and he excels against the pass. Seeing as that was a sore thumb for Barr, Alexander seems like the perfect plug-in if you want someone affordable. A former undrafted free agent, Alexander isn't going to cost an arm and a leg. He made only $1.9 million with the Buccaneers a season ago, and is coming off a torn ACL. Although the injury is obviously concerning, it could help the Vikings convince him to accept a short, discounted, prove-it contract. Page 4 photo by Gregory Seamus Getty Image Estuary is a very good chance we've seen the last of Latavius Murray in a Vikings uniform. It's been a good two years, but odds are he's looking for a larger, role or more money. 
Meanwhile, the Vikings would still like to have that capable no. 2 option behind Dalvin Cook. They could look to the 2019 NFL Draft to fill that void. Seeing as the draft comes after free agency, though, it only makes sense to focus on filling the Vikings' needs as soon as possible. So that's why we find Lou Gehrig Blunt on this list. Now, I will be honest here. I'm personally not a huge fan of Blunt between his on and off field antics and inconsistent production. And yet, if the Vikings are looking for a proven option in the backfield who can be the Thunder to Cook's Lightning, then he's the perfect fit. That is, if Spielman can look past the character issues. Next, predictions for top 2019 NFL free agents. Here's the more important piece of the puzzle, Blunt will come cheap. He made only $2 million with the Detroit Lions a season ago, and figures to command a similar or smaller figure in 2019. With Minnesota lacking cap space, landing the plenty competent Blunt at a discount sounds like a win to me.